Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a little bit of insulating in the house. So we're going to put all of this up there into the loft. Now we've already got insulation <coughs> on the roof, the foil, but we're going to make the bedroom a little bit more comfortable. And then if it works in the bedroom, we're going to do the whole house. So we've got 10 rolls there. Uh, 3,400 for the 10 rolls and we're going to make it see if it makes the bedroom a little bit cooler so we don't have the we don't have the air conditioning and we always have a fan but it gets hot during the day now we've got a fan and I'll show you that later where it extracts the the warm air out through the bathroom and the bedroom anything to do to get rid of the hot air from the house um, as we live in Thailand it gets very very hot so morning, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and today's video is about how to keep your house cool during this hot season. I'm going to go through some various things, some of it's common sense but some of it for those people who don't live in very hot climates is something to, to think about if you're going to rent a house or you're going to buy a house or you're even going to build a house. So here we are 9 o'clock in the morning and this is my house where I live. So the sun comes up on the morning and it shines on the front of our house. But what we've got, we've got this big overhang on the front of the house. Now that's very important because the sun comes up and it goes over the house and it sort of concentrates on that side of the house. So it's twofold advantage having this big overhang. One, it causes shade on the front of the house so it doesn't get sunny. So it doesn't warm the bricks up on the front of the house. And two, having this car part here, it also stops the sun from shining on the side of the house, but it also keeps the car cool during the day when it's hot, because if it's just left in the sun all day, it's baking hot and it's horrible. So basically, this is our veranda and the overhang of the house. So we make use of this. We probably sit out here most of the day. It's just like another little room. So I've got my wife's hammock and my hammock. Um, as I say, so we, we make use of this space here. We have a sofa that we can sit on and we can admire the views over there. As I say, the sun comes up and it goes over there and it goes down to the side of the house. So with the side of the house, it's all to do with keeping the sun off the house. So what happens during various parts because of the the sun rises and sets on a different angle so sometimes it warms this side of the house up so this side of the house is prone to more warming up than the other side so what we're thinking of doing is maybe extending that roof line a little bit and that will stop the heat from warming up our bedroom um, because we've made efforts to try and cool the bedroom down and I'll go through that a little bit later but as you can see, there's the sun. So it's going to come over there and it just warms the roof up all the time. So now in our house, we've got insulation. We've got the foil insulation in the house. And what I've done, just to give it a, a try, I've actually put insulation above our bedroom to try and cool or to stop the heat from transferring from the loft to the bedroom and I put a solar panel fan which I'm going to go through in a minute so it's like this side of the house it's all shaded so basically three quarters of the house doesn't get warmed up by the sun now the sun in Thailand is, is immensely strong so it's just like having radiator blocks when the sun shines it warms up the brickwork so therefore that heat transfers into the house so avoid it as much as you can about the sun hitting the side of the wall. As you can see, this side is always, always cooler because it isn't in the sun. So, and then the back of the house, this doesn't get the sun all day. So this side of the house doesn't get the sun all day. So it's nice and cool. So what we've done, this is the back of the house. And again, because our next door neighbors house is slightly higher than us and they have the trees so when the sun goes down it, it stops it to a certain effect the sun hitting the back of the house 
So what we've done, we've put this solar panel here and we did this as an experiment just to see how it works and we've got a, a car radiator fan and that's attached to the bathroom window so we'll leave the door open all day so that actually sucks the moisture and the warm air out of the bathroom which then causes an airflow and what that does because it causes an airflow it drags the air in from the rest of the house and it creates a flow a flow of air albeit maybe small but enough enough to keep the um, air circulating through the house now during the day we'll have all the windows open we've got fly screens and bug screens on most of the windows so we'll do that as well to try and get rid of the hot air even though it's the hottest part of the year it can be uncomfortable now we don't have the aircon on most of the time because my wife doesn't like the aircon so we sleep on a night time without the air conditioning on uh, we just have the fans and our electricity bill is never really above a thousand well it's never been above a thousand bars since it's, since the time we moved in we've been here now over six years so our last electricity bill which was obviously during the the hot summer month last month um, it was 720 baht, 720 baht, which is when we were talking to some of our friends in our brunch club, my electricity bill was by far the cheapest of anybody else. Most people's electricity bill was, well, one guy, 7,000 baht. So 1,500 is sort of, was the next smallest and then goes up to 7,000 baht. So everything that you can do to try and reduce the heat hitting the building or getting into the building or transferring that heat from the roof down into your living quarters or your bedroom I think every little effort that you do with that is going to save you money and by putting the insulation in the loft I think that works um, I just need to get a thermostat there's the skydiver's plane taken off so yeah, I need to get a thermostat and actually check the, the room. It does feel a little bit cooler. Normally, what, we, what we've tried, we've, we've had the bedroom door closed and the bathroom door open and it sucks all the warm air out of the bedroom. And whether it's just kidology or not, I don't really know, but it, it feels cooler. But it's got to help having a circulation of air moving around your house. Um, now as I say we open the doors and all the windows sometimes now there is a bit of an argument of what some people say is that you need to leave your windows and your doors closed to stop the ambient temperature outside from going inside to your house but even if you keep your windows closed and your doors closed the ambient air inside the house is going to warm up because of radiant heat coming through the walls and coming through the ceiling so and we like our fresh air anyway, so we have all the windows and doors open. And uh, has anybody got any other ideas of, of what they do to keep cool? So this is my little way of trying to live without air conditioning. We do have the air conditioning on for maybe an hour or two hours at the very, very most in the living room on a night time when, when we've been outside all day and we put the TV on this is what we do we put the air conditioning on for a couple of just to cool the room down a, a little bit and um, but by doing that we close all the doors and all the windows and obviously and we're just cooling the room that we're sitting in which is quite a big room really so the air conditioning works and once it's cooler for two hours brilliant it, it's off for the rest of the night so we use our air conditioning maybe two hours maximum during this hot hot season and it's only during this hot, hot season because I think our house is a relatively cool house anyway. Like I've just shown, most, like I've just shown, the majority of the house is in the shade anyway, so it doesn't heat up to, to the same extent as some other houses that I know. So I would say insulation is number one. Stop the sun from warming the exterior of the house up as much as you can by putting car parts up or extending the roofs or the houses in the shade and by doing that I think you're going to have 
a much cooler house and a much more comfortable house to live in. So if you've got any comments, leave a comment down below. Thanks very much for watching. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till next time, bye for now.